Right then, fan reaction. Uh, Bl Burnley won, Blackburn Rovers won. Um, that was a derby. That was a proper derby. You can stick your Man City, Man United and your Merseyside derbies and whatever else you want to say, wherever you want, because that was a proper derby. Passion from both sides, fight from both sides. Fairly equal um, in terms of the game really um obviously i think we had a bit more possession um we definitely had more attacking chances um and to be honest we probably should have won that game um but overall the first time in quite a few years where it's been equals um and yeah i think after the week that we've had well last couple of weeks really um with all the players leaving New lads coming in, you know, fair play to the lads who stepped in today, Lauren and uh, Anthony. You know, they, they've only had a couple of days with the squad. Um, Hannibal obviously only signed on Wednesday. Um, and even Saramento coming on, you know, they, they've only barely even had time to learn the rest of the lads' names, never mind uh, train and get to know each other. So, you know, this was the best chance for them lot to get something against us and they've celebrated like they won the league after getting a one-all draw. Um, you know, the pyro on the pitch says it all really. So yeah, overall I'm I'm not too down about it. Um as I say, we we probably should have won that game. We'd had the better chances. Um you know, we were on top for a, a lot of the game. Um but as I say they they didn't really create many chances um i think the only ones that really stand out is obviously the goal which i'll come to um but you know it, it was a good goal um and then obviously you've got the save from trafford um early on in the second half and the offside goal which he was 100 percent offside i don't care what anyone says um it was 100 percent offside and if you think he wasn't well Tough shit, he was offside. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't really... Like I said, they didn't really have that many chances. They came to defend, they came to get the draw. Um, and I can't really grumble about it. You know, we've we've played like that in the past, obviously. Um, not really playing for draws, but we've sat there and defended and held on, um, you know, and fought. And there have been games where we've fought for a draw, and it's been fantastic and you know that feeling so i do understand it um obviously you know when a little team comes to a big club um and does get a point against them it's always going to feel fantastic so i can't take that away from them um but yeah in t in terms of burnley then uh, i don't want to spend too much time talking about them lot but in terms of burnley um first half i thought you could see that we were very disjointed. Um, you know, you it, it almost looked like from the off that they were gonna press us and they were gonna attack. Um I think fifteen seconds in, Trafford made the mistake and the ball looped over over the bar. Um but after that I thought it was solid to be fair to him. Uh, James Trafford. Obviously a lot of issues surrounding him leaving. Is he gonna stay? Is he gonna go? You know, quite um quite a lot of rumours about him. I think this season him staying in the championship will do him some good. Um and I think yeah, I think he did really well. Um like I say he made that save in the second half where he did, you know, it was a great save. Um but yeah, like I say, I think after that we we started to grow into the game very, very quickly. Um the move for Anthony's cross, you know, Brownhill back heel in it onto Anthony. Um, you know, to cross it in and then Foster's header. I mean, questions have been asked about him this last week. Um, you know, with the rumours about him not wanting to play, uh, you know, refusing to play for us and wanting to get that move. Um and I think he answered them questions with that header. You could see what it meant to him, you could see what it meant to the lads, and yeah, fair play to him. Um, but after that, I did I did feel like he'd fallen out of the game a little bit. Um, 
you know, it, it, it felt like he'd grown out of it in that first half and I I did think at half time I'd be tempted to change him. Um but I'm quite glad they didn't because the second half he did grow into the game and he did start to play very, very well. Um but yeah, I think after we scored that goal we were on top. Um we had a couple of chances afterwards where we could have you know, could have gone and got got another one. And then from almost a freak goal, but not quite because long ball from the keeper, they've got big lads, they knock it down and take nothing away from them. You know, it, it was a great goal. Um, Trafford may be off his line a little bit too much, um, but like I say, great goal, one in a hundred chance. They ain't going to score that every week. Um, and that's all it took really. So, yeah, um, after that, you know, they, they just had the niggly fouls. Um, you could see they were trying to, you know, trying to wind up Hannibal, uh, having do's at Foster, having do's at Coley Oshaw. Um, and eventually that got one of them sent off because if you go around waving your imaginary card to the referee, sorry, but, you know, you know what happens in this day and age. So fair play to the referee for for actually not losing his bottle there um, and actually sending him off because I thought overall the referee managed the game well, you know, with the, there were a few little scuffles, looked like it was going to kick off a couple of times. Um, so the referee managed that side of the game well, but then I think he was poor when it came to soft fouls and, you know, it, they spent a lot of time on the ground um, and he was falling for every time that they went down, basically. Um, but he did the same to us. You know, there were niggly fouls that he, he gave us free kicks for that potentially weren't free kicks. Um, I think the lad who got sent off was lucky not to get sent off earlier in the match. So I think he was on a thin, you know, thin line after that. Um but yeah, like I said, I think the referee managed the game well, but made poor decisions. Um, but I can't again. I I can't use that as an excuse because I do think we played well, especially in that second half. Um, but there were just missing that killing in the killer instinct, and I think that's what Fleming's going to bring to us. I think that's what Sarimento is going to bring to us. You know, the, these lads were only in the building from yesterday. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a positive. The game t came too soon for us, really, um, especially after the week we've had. I mean, when the fixtures were announced, we said the game was, you know, too early in the season. Um, but after, you know, the, the last couple of weeks, it's, you know, it has come too soon for us. Um, but look... I'm happy we got a point. Um, the international breaks come now at the right time for us. Um, it gives us a couple of weeks, you know, to for the lads to gel. Um, you know, get used to each other, and then obviously, the next match is leads away, another lunchtime kickoff. So, yeah, as I say, I'm I I I just taken a point against them earlier in the week. Um, it's fourteen years now since they last beat us. Um we go to Ewood in January and we'll 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 make it fifteen. Um I think that's the first time they scored a goal against us in a decade. So you know they they've got their trophy to celebrate. You know they they've got a goal and they drew their cup final. So we've got to let them have it for tonight, haven't we? But yeah. Happy with a point. Can't complain too much. Up the clarets.